Hey guys, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. So today we'll be doing a drag build and tune in this 2016 BMW M4 GTS. So if you enjoyed the video or find it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do is bring our 2016 M4 up to the festival drag strip so we can see just how fast it is as well as getting a speed by the end. So pulling up to the line here, we're going to rev this car up to about 4,500 RPM. Just drop it there. You can get any wheel spin at all. The third and now to fourth. Flying along and we cross the line at 265 kilometers an hour. So now that we've seen how fast this car is, we'll now take it into the festival drag strip race. So we can see how fast it is against other cars, as well as getting a time by the end. So throwing it into the race now, we'll see how it takes off the line here. Again, no wheel spin. We're already first by quite a bit. Up into fourth, coming up to the line. We came first with ease. None of the other cars were even close to us and we got a time of 8.7 seconds. Right, so now that we've seen exactly how fast this car is, we'll now take it into the festival and I'll show you how to upgrade and tune it. Right, so if you come into the custom upgrade menu with your 2016 BMW M4 GTS, first thing we're going to do is come down to the conversion tab at the end and here we'll put in the 6.2 litre V8 as well as the all-wheel drive drivetrain swap. And then you'll also be putting the twin turbos on it as well. So we can come back out of the conversions tab, now into aero and appearance. And here, if we come to the rear wing, we can select this BMW option to remove that rear wing and save some weight there. Don't need to touch side skirts as that just adds lights on top of the car for the police. It's back out of air and appearance now into tires and rims. So here we'll be doing drag tires as well as making them wider in both the front and rear. Then if you come into rim style, we can select some lighter weight rims and that will save you eight kilos. So out of rim style, we'll now come into the track widths and add spaces in both the front and rear. Then back out of tires and rims, now we'll come into drivetrain. So here we're doing a race clutch, race transmission, race driveline and the race diff. So back out of drivetrain, now into platform and handling. So here we'll be doing rally springs as well as race front and rear anti-roll bars. Then if you come into the weight reduction, we'll put on the full race weight reduction kit there. So back out of platform and handling, now into engine. So we're just going to max everything out in here. So race intake, race fuel system, race ignition, race exhaust, race cams and valves, race valves, race engine block, race pistons and compression, race twin turbos, race intercooler, race oil and cooling, and then finally the race flywheel. So that's it as far as upgrades go. So you can go ahead and apply all of these. So now that we've upgraded our car, we can now come into the tuning menu down here. So first I'll cover the metric tune and then I'll show you the difference for the imperial tune, which include the tire pressures and springs. So for the tire pressures, you'll want 1.0 bar in both the front and rear. The next, if you come over to gearing, you want to change your final drive to 3.10 then if we come over to alignment you'll change your front and rear camber angles back to zero degrees and then the front cast angle can come up to seven degrees then if we come over to the springs you want 80.0 in the front and 44.0 in the rear and we don't need to touch the ride heights here so next into the dampening tab for the front rebound stiffness you want 5.4 and then 2.4 for the rear rebound stiffness. And for the front bump stiffness, you want 5.1 and 1.8 in the rear. So next we've come into aero, you want to move the front downforce all the way to 71 at the end of the speed because we can't take off the front lip. So we might as well make it 
as less drag as possible. So then finally, if we come over to the differential tab, you want to set your front acceleration up to 100%, and then same for the rear acceleration, also up to 100%. Then if you come down to the center balance, you want to set this to 79%. So that's it as far as the metric tune goes. Now I'll show you the difference for the imperial tune. So for the imperial tune, you'll want 15 PSI on both the front and rear tires. Then if you come over to the springs, you want 448.2 in the front and then 246.6 in the rear. Then you could just leave the right heights as they are at 6.6 .6 inches and 7.2. So that's it as far as the differences go for the Imperial Tune. So you can go ahead and apply all of these. Alright guys, so this has been a drag build and tune for the 2016 BMW M4 GTS. So if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.